In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make us a perfect temple of his glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus, Paul had the presbyters of the church at Ephesus summoned. When they came to him, he addressed them. You know how I lived among you, the whole time from the day I first came to the province of Asia, I served the Lord with all humility, and with the tears and trials that came to me because of the plots of the Jews, and I did not at all shrink from telling you what was for your benefit, or from teaching you in public or in, sin in your homes. I earnestly bore witness for both Jews and Greeks, to repentance before God and to faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. But now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. What will happen to me there I do not know, except that in that uh, one city after another, the Holy Spirit has been warning me that imprisonment and hardships await me. Yet I consider life of no importance to me. If only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to bear witness to the gospel of God's grace. But now I know that none of you to whom I preach the kingdom during my travels will ever see me my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Jesus Christ. Our responsorial psalm is Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you shower down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restore the land when it languish. You flocked, settled in it, and your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed day by day be the Lord, who bears our burdens, God who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us. The Lord, my, Lo the Lord, my Lord, controls the paths, pathways of death. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son, your son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is the eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorify you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belonged to you, 
and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them. And they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you, and they had believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them, and now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. But today, as we, as once again, we approach to the celebration of Pentecost, but uh, we see very, uh, a lot of similarities in these two readings. And the first reading, uh, St. Paul is uh, saying a farewell, uh, words of farewell, a, a, a preparing his speech for, uh, he says he's not coming back and he's not seeing them. And then to people to recognize that it, all the effort he made to spread the, the, the gospel among many different peoples and congregations. So he, in a sense, is uh, saying goodbye uh, to his ministry. And uh, perhaps he knows that uh, imprisonment awaits him, but he is okay because of, uh, he accomplished the work the Lord gave him to do. Similarly, we find the words of Jesus as this is just before the, uh, before the Passion of the Lord, and uh, he is praying for those, uh, for the disciples the Father gave to him, and also a kind of a goodbye speech. It, it's Jesus' prayer to the Father prays for them because he will remain in the world while he says, I will ascend to you, O Father. So the Lord Jesus Christ intercedes for us, prays for us, he offers sacrifices for us in heaven too. He is constantly praying for us, for our uh, uh, well-being. So let us trust that the Lord is again watching over us all the time, that he prays for us to the Heavenly Father. And so with this confidence as we go in the world to spread the good news, may one day, as St. Paul says, I did the work the Lord uh, asked me to do. And sometimes some cycles close and others begin. And every time that we close a chapter is when we say, uh, I just did the work of the Lord, uh, what the Lord can commanded me to do. And then move on. So uh, we thank God for uh, the gift of Jesus Christ in our lives. And uh, we pray for all of those who are in need and those who ask for our prayers. And uh, talking about that, let us offer our prayers of uh, petition to our Heavenly Father for the needs of all. As Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and prayed, so do we offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father, that the Holy Spirit may enkindle the fire of his love in the hearts of our bishops during this Easter season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that judges and magistrates whose decisions affect the lives of many may be guided by the Holy Spirit in embracing principles of fairness and mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That innocent victims of war and violence may find peace and healing through Jesus, the divine physician, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that Jesus may keep us faithful to God's call to serve him in our relationship with family, neighbors, friends, and strangers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may rejoice in the presence of God in the eternal life given by Christ, especially today as we remember William Winters, for whom we offer this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, everything that is yours, you, ha you have given your Son. Hear and answer the praise we offer today through him, who is, who is Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the praise of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devoutness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens, as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and men, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lovely estate, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise Supich, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who hath pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that your Son commanded us to do, in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary and pray for all our needs. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.